I'm just out here for a brief moment to speak to you. I think that one of the things that we can be expecting that's already starting to happen is that in order for the Sanhedrin court to take over as the world Supreme Court and replace the United Nations, there have to be accusations against the United Nations and this has just started really happening with Israel um, saying that the United Nations and you know the defunding of some of their connections so this is just the start of what we're going to be seeing and I expect that it's going to be picking up and um, you know things are going to progress. I think that we don't really understand that all of the things we're seeing that puzzle us and we're baffled by, they are all connected somehow, some way. For example, you have the total corruption of Hollywood and being run by these thugs that have connections to the modeling agencies where they get some of the people and the actresses and everything. And then what they, you know, they do is they perpetrate these crimes against these young women. And it's the same with the music industry, which I fully intended to go into the music industry. And, you know, there's still part of me that that was always my dream and I wanted to be able to do that. But at some point when you realize that we are up against truly evil, evil people, we have people that are um, professors, that are groomers. There's groomers that are in Hollywood that blacklist actresses for turning them in, meaning that they can get no more work and you have even within the christian society little tiny cliques prophecy cliques only certain people are let into the game now some of these people that are perpetrating stuff and you know making you believe that they're all on the up and up they really aren't they really have connections to things that are bad and we are in the age of severe um, lies and deceptions like you cannot believe. So you really have to be keeping your eyes peeled for the truth. No matter whether it's somebody claiming to be a Christian leader, someone who's got untold money to travel around and, you know, state all of the things that they claim are going to happen to the United States and all of this stuff. Let me tell you one thing. A lot of the Christians coming from the United States of America have been missionaries worldwide. And this is not a cursed country. This is not accurate. You have leaders that are corrupt. You have corruption. You have crime. You have this in all countries. You know, and these people that are proclaiming the end of America and all of this stuff is just you know it's just not accurate there's godly people and there's godless people we need to learn to use discernment and especially like with the temple institute going around and speaking to all of these christian churches and then taking money from the christians and then in the future they have no purpose for the christians other than that they should die um you know and implement all the sanhedrin rules that they want to implement when they get in their world supreme court so they have to make the united nations look as bad as possible not that the united nations is good mind you there's a lot of stuff that's been corrupt but you know they want to replace them in israel so that's what's going to happen you're going to be hearing a lot of rhetoric about how the un should be unfunded shut down 
Um, and then you're going to have this group step up and take the reins and then implement worldwide these ancient Torah laws of these rabbis, including Maimonides, Mammon, which is Maimon, which is, you know, the master that they have chosen that they serve, which is not Jesus Christ, the Messiah, King of Israel. So we have the motto of the um, Israeli intelligence being by way of deception. Okay. <laughs> well, there was an ex unexpected train going by. Wow, that was totally not expected. And uh, by way of deception, Jesus warned you not to be deceived by this group of people. So they're trying to make all of these things come to pass. And remember that certain... Uh, pastors that come from Israel have said that when the 9-11 attacks happened, it happened so that um, some superpowers needed to come down so some others could be elevated. And we know that they're trying to take down America in every way, shape and form. The United Nations is saying that we shouldn't eat very much meat. Um, there's all kinds of corruption. It's coming from all angles. So in order to stay faithful to God, we need to read the Word of God and stay close to the Holy Spirit and uh, be aware of the fact that a lot of these factions come together. They're all creating the New World Order, which apparently Putin just claimed that again so uh, it's all being orchestrated against the United States all of these train derailments all of the burning of the food facilities all of the shootings of the children just think of how it's all part of their agenda to reduce the population and they have no respect for the lives of little children. And it's thoroughly disgusting. It's disgusting that Hollywood is controlled by some of these people. And I'm sorry to say that some of these people are Jewish that perpetrated some of these horrible crimes, including Bernie Madoff, including the uh, Henry Kissinger, including Yuval, Noah Harari, all of these people are involved. The Sanhedrin is involved. By way of deception is Israel's Mossad's phrase. So do not be deceived. God is not mocked. And it's a mockery of God to do a red heifer ceremony because Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. He fulfilled it all with his blood covenant with many. So don't be deceived into the fake covenant with many. And don't take the mark of the king that they sit upon the throne that will demand worship because, hey, you already worship one Jew, according to Rabbi Richman. You might as well worship all of us because they're paying for our sins every day. What a fallacy and what a lie. And you know, all of this rhetoric with the elections and everything, it's all fixed. You think it's not fixed? They've already got the coins minted on the half shekel that funds the third temple with Donald Trump on it and Nikki Haley and who knows who else is gonna be on a coin. So these are the days of deception and Stay close to God. I'm really appalled at how this element of evil has permeated all of society, all of Hollywood. Actresses have been blacklisted so they can't work. Musicians such as myself can't get work. 
And it doesn't matter how many instruments I played, how much I composed, how much I sang, did background vocals, produced, mixed, and helped with the mastering. It is never enough when you're dealing with the corruption of the world that you will never fit in because you are not of this earth. You are a child of the living God, and that's why you'll never be a successful actress. You'll never be a successful musician because they will not let you in. And even the Christian community has groups that will not let you in. Even though you have the most incredible testimony of Jesus, they won't even listen to you or give you any credit or any chance to even be heard. And I just figured it out that it certainly proves that we are strangers in this land and that we don't belong here. And so this is not where we're supposed to find our success in life. This is where we're preparing to enter the eternal promised land with the Lord going before us. And so I'll end this by saying, hold fast to the knowledge of God keep close to the Lord in the Word of God um, things could get really out of hand and really bad you hear all of this rhetoric you know it's gonna be a civil war America's doomed blah 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 America is the greatest country in the world and yes there's corruption yes there's evil but people stop stop cursing the United States of America there's just many other countries that are worshiping millions of gods and they're not taken down. And there's still lots of us in America that are preaching the word of God. So God is going to protect this nation with the righteous doing his will. So that's my two cents for the evening. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for those who have just subscribed and please uh, support my channel work it's very helpful and important for me in my situation um, just trying to make it from week to week and I thank you so much and God bless everybody last night was the anniversary of my mother's passing and uh, tried to spend a little time just mulling over being with her and what she meant to me so anyway, if you want to support this channel, it's paypal.me forward slash K-K-R-O-C-O-C-O. -O -O. And I'll put the um, address for donations in the um, information box down below the video if you want. And to read my book about Jesus as the true Messiah, revealing him in an incredible way for the last days, the almond tree Aaron's rod, the Messiah, King of Israel, by Kimberly K. Ballard, that's me, and thank you for listening, and don't be deceived by every th single thing you hear on the news, and all the condemnations on America, because this is what they want to perpetrate. They want the destruction of America. But God's not going to let that happen. Yes, judgments will come upon the evildoers within the nations. But God also helped to found this country for the spreading of the gospel. And so just don't believe everything you hear about King Charles, you know, or William and Kate and all of these people. I mean... We are in a time of deception and you have to learn to discern the truth from lies. Don't believe everything about Nephilim. There's nothing in the Bible in the last days that says that Nephilim are coming back. Nothing. And people are taking advantage of you by telling you these lies. And they're spreading all kinds of stuff about aliens and UFOs and Planet X and you know, on and on these deceptions go. So use discernment. Ask the Holy Spirit to come dwell within you so that you have discernment to know truth from fiction. 
So I'll see you later. I'm trying to film a little bit of this before um, the sun sets here. So I'll talk to you later, guys. Shalom for now. Good night.